morning. We're going to uh, edit another photo here on uh, Adobe Lightroom. And uh, it's uh, the best photo that I got when I was doing the burrowing house. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the history and just as quickly as possible show you uh, the very few changes that I made that drastically changed the photo and just show you that less is more. So uh, this is the original photo right here of the burrowing owl and uh, this is already a, a pretty good photo. Uh, my settings you can see are ISO 3200, 600 millimeters, f4 and 3200 to the second. You know in retrospect uh, I probably would have been better to have the ISO and uh, shutter speed at 1600 but uh, you know I, I had a really low light situation and the reason that my shutter speed was so fast is the owl just got done shaking and scratching and uh, then when he sat still here I did not change the shutter speed so I, you know, I would have been less cranny at, at 1600 uh, with both settings and if I had changed both settings to 1600 then I would have had the exact same but uh, you can see, you know, that's, that's pretty grainy. So the very first thing that I did was I, I ran this photo through Denoise Raw, and uh, it gave me this weird artifact here. It glitched, uh, but I did not care about that simply because I knew right away that I was going to make this a vertical photo. So that as I started playing with my crop rectangle until I got it cropped just the way that I wanted it, I was, you know, trying to put it mostly on the third. And the very next thing that I did was I added a subject under masking. I'm going to show you that now. So I masked my subject and what I did was I increased the texture to 16. I increased the clarity to 8. I increased my sharpness to 26. Then the very next thing that I did was I duplicated my mask and inverted it. I'll show you that. That's what that looks like. And then I subtracted a linear gradient because I did not want to affect anything under the barbed wire because that's where everything was nice and light. And this is the most dramatic thing that I did to my photograph. Right here, I updated the exposure. Now look at the difference that that made. Right? Watch the owl really pop as soon as I changed that exposure. And I dropped it negative 1.11. When I did that, I changed a few things. So I went back into my masking and I dropped my highlights 14 on my first mask, on my original mask. Now the reason that I did that is because I had my shadow clipping and highlight clipping turned on and I was clipping a little bit right here in the, the light of the owl. So I just dropped the highlights to take care of that. Then I left masking and I did uh, the tiniest bit of vignette. I updated my vibrance to plus 19. Went back into masking, I added a brush right here on the owl's face. See that? You turn that off. And I just increased the texture by 11, the clarity by 6. I increased the sharpness to 16, and I brightened his face to 0.3. Let's take a real quick look at that. Let's go before the brightening, and then after the brightening. Just made a little bit of a difference. Uh, then I wanted to, I realized I forgot to change the contrast, so I went back to my original mask, and I increased my contrast to plus 23. I felt like the whole picture was a touch dark after that, so I left masking. <laughs> and I'm kind of all over the place here. And I just increased the exposure just by almost 0.1, just to brighten it up a little bit. Let's take a quick look at that. Back, and then I just, I just brightened it a little bit. That was it. I was basically done at that point. Now, I made one last change, and it's a, a pretty big one. What I did was I came down, to my highlight wheel and I just touch the screen right here to change the light to more gold. Let's take a quick look at that. Before, after. But that is it. That is the final edit. So real quick, let's just go all the way back to the import. Already a good picture. And then we go to the very finished version. Boom. Done. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.